Okay, next up is the Thunder Spark Maiden. It's a two mile one furlong hurdle. As you can see, there's 16 of them. Thunder Spark's got one in here. Let's hope he can win his maiden. So number one is Ancient Hill. Two is Albert's Eyes. Three is a Cumber Choir. Four is Barmy Army. Five Dogs of War. Six Udiamonia. Seven Galabala. Eight it's Showtime. Nine Last Stand. Ten Moonshell Knight. Eleven is Party Doctor. Twelve is Speedback. Thirteen Spring Collection. Safari Mike is fourteen. Loud Cookie is fifteen. Pearl Necklace is sixteen. Rosy Buck is seventeen. And Teacher's Pet is number eighteen. So 18 of them, maidens, over two mile one, and they're off. That one just right, starting right at the, beer, at the rear is Eudaimonia. And it's Pearl Necklace that's going to take them along. A fairly good pace. So it's Pearl Necklace and they'll lead them into the first flight. And then we've just got Galabala leading out the rest of the chasing pack as they all start to settle down for position. They're going to the first of nine. And everybody skips over that. We're going to approach the second, which will be the last next time round. And the finishing straight. And we're riding on board Cumber Kwai, who's in 17th position at the moment. Comes to the next. Everybody's got over that. Nice fast jump. As you can see, just on the outside is Safari Mike. And the green six in front is the Barmy Army of Paul Rhodes. So it's still riding on board Cumber Kwai as they're coming up to the finishing line with a circuit left to run and just over a mile and a half left to travel and it's pearl necklace quite happily five to six lengths advantage you know, from the pack of loud cookie speed back spring collection and we've got moonshell knight from graham clutterbuck and the outside of that is last stand on the inside is dogs of war and we've got galabala teacher's pet and last uh, ancient hill and then rosy buck all fairly close together here. The one still at the rear is Udiamonia. Um, been there since back markers from the beginning. But probably just biding his time. So it's still Pearl Necklace that's going to lead them into the next first from Loud Cookie in second. Well, there's a wall of horses chasing hard here. They will skip over the fourth. That was a bit of a poor jump by Morlitz Albert's eyes. And it's still Pearl Necklace leading them on at a fair pace. Keeping his horse up to up to speed as they go to the fifth. Everybody skips over it. Although the chasing pack have shortened Pearl Necklace's lead. And it's speed back that leads the chasing pack. A couple of the rear still are Safari Mike now and UD Ammonia. Um, still got a lot of work to do as they take this turn now. They've only got three left to jump and it's still Pearl Necklace. Well, only leads by a couple from a wall of horses. Last stand, speed back, Lord Cookie, Teacher's Pet, Dogs of War. Oh, it's showtime. Barmy Army out wider as they take the six. And we have three flights left to run. The four, just the three, three or four that are just at the rear of Eudaimonia, Safari Mike, Party Doctor, and Galabala. A little bit of work to do, but it's Pelnick that still leads, although the jockey's decided to ride for home now with just five furlongs left to go. Behind him is Last Stan in the pink silks who pulls alongside. They're being followed through by. Moonshell Knight, Dogs of War, Rosy Bucket, Showtime, Loud Cookie, Ancient Hill. There's plenty still in this. The ones that are getting detached to the rear of Safari Mike and UD Ammonia. But it's Pearl Necklace still leads into the final straight with a couple left to negotiate. It's Pearl Necklace from last stand. On the outside comes Rosy Buck. The two following through a speed back and Teacher's Pet. And it's Rosy Buck that's going to rise first alongside last stand. Nothing left for Pearl Necklace. Rosy Buck and last stand. These two neck and neck approaching the last. It's Rosy Buck. Two furlongs left to run. Rosie Buck and Last Stand. It's Morgan and Hinton. They both take it together. Last Stand with a better jump. We've got a furlong left to run. Now I don't think anything's going to catch it, but it's Last Stand that's just got a half a length lead. Here comes Rosie Buck. Fast finishing his showtime, but I think Last Stand's going to hang on here. Or is he? Here comes Rosie Buck. Last Stand. Rosie Buck. Here comes it. It's a showtime, but it's Last Stand just keeps his neck ahead of from Rosie Buck. A great win there for Del Hinton. Jump the jump the last faster. And managed to hang on in there. Great little finish. Uh, this two mile one hurdle course. And it is last stand that takes it. 13 to 2. A nice price. Could have had that each way. Oh, 
number one in the winner's enclosure is last stand for Del Hinton. Second was Rosie Buck for Ghost Sapper, John Morgan. Third, it's Showtime for Joshua Southern. Fourth was Dogs of War for Leon Van Rensburg. And fifth was Speed Back for Thunderspark.